I'm going to be showing you how I packed for myself and four kids in just three bags and all you're gonna need is a gallon freezer bag just a gallon or well not just one but you could probably gonna need several and if I'm talking quietly that's because the baby's sleeping <laughs> Okay, so I have to give a bit credit to my mom because this is her idea. Uh, this is how she used to pack my clothes when I was a kid. And she actually suggested that I put the clothes in Ziploc bags. So the G crud. G crud. <laughs> so, up here I have all three kids' underwear separately in a Ziploc bag. And that way we can come in here and see it's Ryland's underwear and he can even read his own name so he can tell that that's his underwear and then behind it I just packed um, the swimsuits and so those will automatically come out as soon as we get to the beach so that doesn't even matter and so so you can see that all three kids have a big ziplock bag and everybody's swimsuits are right behind it so then, in these three Ziploc bags, it's each child's um, pajamas for the whole week. So Rylan has all of his, and the way that I roll them is you fold the t-shirt, fold the shirt, and roll it up in the pants so then when he pulls out his pajamas he has everything right here and he doesn't have to go searching for the match that's how i fold everybody's pajamas and all of their outfits are also rolled the same exact way as the pajamas so Boone can pull out his outfit and he has shorts and he has a shirt and then Boone can dress himself so I can just tell him to come get his clothes. There's one, two, three, four, four outfits for seven days and for me that is very minimalist <laughs> usually I am an overpacker and if we're going to the beach for seven days I'm gonna pack like ten outfits so four outfits for seven days is pretty good for me <laughs> so and Nora she has a little bit extra um, clothes because she is a messy Marvin and she gets her clothes extra dirty every day no matter what she's doing so but she has dresses so it was very easy to just stick um, an extra outfit in there with her dresses because they're just rolled and then I even had room to put all of their special blankets that they can use while we're there so that is three kids with pajamas and four to five outfits each in the blanket and all of their underwear and swimsuits. And then I have um, their hats in just the front pocket here. Okay, so baby Avalyn, she needs a little bit extra and she could not fit into that suitcase. So, but she, all of her stuff fits in this little bag. Um, so the front pocket in a big Ziploc bag is two sun hats and two bathing suits and then her shoes. 
so it was thin enough to put it in the front pocket. So then in here, we have her extra blankets. But what amazes me is how many outfits I was able to fit in here. I can tell with you. All right, say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That I was able to fit in here. And then all I did was the same thing. I just rolled them up. And so there's no pants that I need to put with it. But so I just... I guess it's called the um, the filing method, and then but if it does have pants with it, I just roll them up with it. So it's easy enough just to kind of grab an outfit and don't have to go searching. And if you have a baby, you know that their clothes are really small and they get lost very easily in the suitcase. She'll have her diapers and wipes and all that in a separate bag. And then my clothes, I, um, and then I did the same thing as far as I just put my underwear and a big Ziploc bag and then my swimsuits are also up in the mesh part because um, those will come out the first thing. And then all I did was um, for me to pack minimally, I packed dresses. I didn't pack a bunch of tops and shorts. I actually just stuck with dresses and um, so I was able to just fold in the same way that I fold the kids clothes and just like a little a filing method. So I just folded in half and made it really thin. And so then I can actually see everything that I have. It's not all balled up and lost in the suitcase. So I can see every piece of clothing that I have in here. And I will make the kids wear one outfit on the way there. So I actually have an extra outfit. I'll make them wear their sandals on the way there. And we're only going to take one more pair of shoes and we're just gonna stick those in an extra bag and I will put my extra shoes in there too. And so then we're not lugging a bunch of stuff around. So that's all that I have, but I have to give all the credit to my mom because she's the one who had this idea and she used to pack for me like this. So I hope that you got some minimalistic inspiration and I hope that I, I hope that I've helped you I've helped you. What you say? <laughs> I, I hope this video helps you in your future. <laughs> I hope I hope I have helped you. I hope I have given you some tips on how to bag minimally and how to bag smarter. So, we'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, so I am at the beach um, and I'm editing this vlog and I just wanted to give like a little disclaimer. Um, we have access to a washer and dryer and we have been washing and drying our clothes as we need them. So, as I was editing it, I was like, oh, I didn't tell them like, like we would actually be washing clothes um, and that's, um, mostly why I didn't I wanted to pack minimally um, because I knew I could just throw in a couple outfits and if they got dirty or if they wore the same outfit um, that I could just wash it <laughs> so um, and I want to say that the um, having the outfits together and in a bag and we can see everything has been awesome um, this is really the first time I've ever done this for the kids and it has been great so just wanted to give you that disclaimer and I really do hope that the this packing tip helps you in the future especially those with little kids you know how hard it is to pack for yourself and your kids so I hope that I've helped <laughs>